beautiful people what's up today I'm bringing you a review on the Rihanna Fenty release that was launched on was launched on Friday this release was in works for over two years it was launched in 1600 stores across 17 countries and I must tell you guys that this makeup line is a game changer. I was just so amazed. I did not really hear any information of the um, launch until it got close to the launch date. So I was kind of like, you know, one of you guys who never knew that Rihanna was working on her beauty line. And so Rihanna did launch a beauty line with some highlighters. A blotting powder 40 shades of foundation guys in 40 shades okay so that's gonna be a shade for you a shade for me a shade for your girlfriend a shade for your best friend a shade for your sister a shade for your boo a shade for your whoever 40 different shades and the reason why is because she felt that everybody had the chance to be matched properly so Rihanna did work very hard on this makeup line she uh, consulted top makeup artists for insights um, and I believe the uh, objective was to reach several people several people of color several people just different skin tones and different skin texture and all of that so she really did her thing and you know the hat is real extremely real guys so they did some intensive testing and, and the intensive testing was basically like real life testing they tested on different skin tones just to make sure that it came up with every possible skin tone or every possible shade that you can imagine so she was looking towards um, finding the shades for any woman, okay, or any any man, whoever likes makeup, as you say. She did focus her testing on a diverse background just to make sure that she got the red texture um, and skin tones and also um, make sure that she had the red pigmentation for the uh, shades that she was coming up with. And she ensured that she captured every level of beauty outcome with her product and so and I mean everyone that has touched the product that has reviewed the product knows and see that um, it, it is of a good quality for one I really think that the pricing is perfect in the sense that the foundation is $32 and I know some of these big brands come up with products and if out of dollars you pay so much for a little amount Rihanna's foundation is, is 32 milliliters which is 1.08 fluid ounce and out of products and for a good price I was just focusing on like the foundation first of all but uh, there are other um, products in the line she has the lip gloss plus you know what why don't I just try on the lip gloss? and so the lip gloss comes in this very beautiful packaging I see foundation and I'm in shade 380 actually 390 and I, I definitely went online because I know most of the times when there is a big launch or there is a hype or up over a particular product you normally will not find your shade and so I decided to go online when I heard about it and then I also heard that Sephora website crashed because of the traffic <laughs> but however I went online to have a chance to purchase it in a store I would have had an opportunity to purchase it online so I just went ahead and look online I went into Sephora I went ahead because I I saw some other people post their um their reviews first impressions so I just kind of look at it so I know that I will know how you know the product is and blah 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 
when I went into the store because of what I saw I thought I was around shade 430 420 you know 410 and so I told the girl hey I want to try these three shades but when I tried I was like mm, it really does not suit my skin can we go down two more steps so we went to four hundred and then we went to 390 the moment i put on a 390 she's because she's like oh this foundation oxidizes so you might want to just wait a little bit you know um and then we can you you know you can look at it and see which shade really matches your skin and the moment i put on the shade 390 i was like girlfriend i am not waiting this is my shade i picked it online and now i have tried it it just matched perfectly I'm not wasting any time. So right away I went ahead and purchased my, um, you know, my shit and, <laughs> and I left. I, I just thought it was amazing. I didn't have any struggles this time around where they have to, oh, let's see. Oh, this one looks like it's too dull. Oh, this one has like a, you know, white um, uh, um, or cast or whatever, you know. And I mean, it was just a nice feeling going into Sephora and picking something that really worked for me this time around that I don't have to mix two shades like when I go to MAC and I, I'm, I'm, you know, buying my MAC foundation in order for me to really get something closer to my shade. I have to buy two different foundations, not only MAC, but some other uh, brands as well. I could not find my perfect shade for the Hourglass um, uh, foundation stick. Well, am I right? The Hourglass uh, foundation stick, I should say. And also the uh, Urban Decay uh, foundation that came out. So I just kind of went with what was close and then I made it work. Because, you know, if you are a beauty influencer, of course, you make a lot of things work. So I just took what I could and I, I made it work. Let me get to the pros of this foundation. So my thing is, for me, I did not find any uh, cons because... Um, I know for sure that the foundation is a buildable or to medium coverage to buildable full coverage or what have you. So I went ahead and color corrected my face. And then of course I applied the foundation. So I just went like one time and that was it. You guys can see the coverage. You guys can see the finish. You guys can see how popping my makeup is happen today and I can't wait to see Rihanna come up with like an eyeshadow um, palette or something like that um, because the line is a permanent line I did not think that I needed to squeeze myself or push myself to get everything that I have so I only got the foundation the lip gloss and the um, kilowatt trophy wipe and so so this foundation is designed to deliver an iconic irradiance to women of all skin types it is a featherweight formula that is strong enough to serve as a filter it is also a soft matte finish foundation that is long wear i also did mention earlier that it has a medium to buildable full coverage so it does add an instant finish pour that feels shine free texture to your face the formula is oil free and works with a climate adaptive technology that resists sweat and won't clog your pores and will work with your skin with that said this gives it a matte finish and a long wear substance the lip gloss that i got was the universal lip gloss that rihanna came up with the shade is fenty glow i may as well just go and um, add a little bit but this is how it looks in here um, it has a beautiful wine that you can use to apply oh baby baby So I love this shade very much. Um, so another pro about this uh, lip gloss is that it's universal, matches with any skin, you know, tune. 
I haven't seen a lip gloss that, that is um, wearable in all you know situations like this. Um, another thing is you can wear it alone. You can pair it with a lipstick. Who doesn't want that? It retails for eighteen dollars. So this is the um, foundation. This is the packaging. It has a glass packaging and a white top. Some people had a problem with the white top. I don't. I can clean it. In fact, I keep my makeup in the boxes. Sorry to say that, but I do. I do keep my makeup in the box when I buy them so that I don't know why I do that. I just keep them, you know, most of them I keep them in the boxes. Yes, this is the foundation, very beautiful packaging. Um, very beautiful size that you can, you know, travel with. This should be no problem whatsoever. And then of course, this is Trophy Wife. It's one of the yellow white highlighter. So they have several shades. Oh, I only picked this one. So that's the. And it has this uh, lettering in here. Um, Fenty Beauty. So what I did, I went and put on my Snapchat that I'm Fenty. <laughs> If I can say that, took a little bit of this. See how that swashes. I just put it right there. Ooh. Also looks beautiful so with that said this is the uh, final uh, review for the Fenty Beauty line by Rihanna I have other tutorials that I talked about the products uh, when I was using it in my makeup tutorial so if you'd like to know more in that information um, like I haven't given you a lot then just go ahead and look at the uh, videos I do have links down below and I will talk to you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for staying tuned. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's grow this channel together. And you guys know you are the reason why I'm here. And also, if you um, like the videos, then I'm going to make more videos for you guys. Well, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. From Peaches October.